since I'm going to be having a house build here on the Rattlesnake Hill, I am uh, decided to do my first uh, lesson on rattlesnakes, or you know, cartoon rattler. But uh, you start with an S shape, and kind of a bean or a pretzel shape. And uh, these are, I did a bunch of sketches, different ones, different expressions. But uh, I decided on this, uh, this S shape with the pretzel kind of shape. This guy I really like, he's cool. So here I am, this is, uh, this is all in real time. Now this one I'm doing uh, the rattlesnakes facing, facing to the right, or left in the picture. But uh, you can see how the S shape, and then I'm starting to build. I just build lightly, you know, when you're doing sketches and stuff. You just build lightly and you try to get the perspective right and the form, give it some depth and stuff. And the head is oversized for sure. I made the head oversized on purpose because I like to accentuate the expression and the face because I, th I think that's what people relate to most is the face. Oh, there's these big bushes in the way. <laughs> See if I can get, them, get rid of them. It's not very professional. <laughs> So here I zoomed in a little and uh, working on the fangs and yeah and I just keep building it up you know you start with the lighter lines and then you go in with the, the greater lines to give it uh, so you can see the characters and you just build them up make them a little bit bolder the lines. kind of a cool character. It, he definitely has a Disney-esque sort of feel about him. A lot of my stuff does. I've also been greatly influenced by Warner Brothers and UPA Studios and, you know, MGM. And I just, I just keep on working the lines. Fill in the mouth a little. I'm gonna come back out now, start working on the body and just fleshing it out. So there's the S and it comes down. These lines are pretty much horizontal. You wanna keep them horizontal, the ones that go across. And that's like the rattlesnake's back, I guess. But like with any characters you do, just sketch them out really good, you know, and you can copy my stuff or copy other artists. It's always good to copy other people. You know, that's how you learn. That's how you get better. Actually, this rattlesnake, I went on Pinterest and just, I mean, went on, actually, I just Googled it, Google Images, and I typed in cartoon rattle, rattlesnake, and this, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of them come up. But this one, um, this was, there was one kind of shape like this, but then I exaggerated it a little. But I just really like that S shape and the bean shape or pretzel shape. I just, I liked it and how its tail comes out of the middle. It's really cool. So I just keep working it. Don't be afraid to erase. Don't be afraid to rebuild. And that gives it, I did some perspective lines kind of there. Yeah, and I decided to do this in real time because sometimes the camera is going so fast and so speedy. But these, this is the f first of many lessons I'm going to do. And uh, I'm just focusing in on one singular character. So there are going to be a lot of uh, real time segments. So you can really watch it and see what I'm up to. But it's all about building it. See, now I'm going back and it's strengthening some of the lines, making them bolder. I feel bad because it's been so long since I've <laughs> done any window painting videos. But uh, this is the first of many new ones. So 
be lesson one. So yeah, these are gonna be a whole new, whole new lessons just about characters, character design. Coming out pretty good. And these designs don't have to be totally perfect or anything because it's just it's just reference for when you're painting the window. It's not like it's gonna be a, a finished piece of art. Although I am thinking of doing pencils of different characters and Maybe finding someone that can ink them for me, that's into inking them, like either with a Cintiq and coloring them or whatever, and maybe make some clip art. Maybe I can go into business with somebody who's interested in doing that. So I don't like inking, and I'm not into the coloring so much. I mean, at least not in this form. I love painting windows, and I'm gonna be doing some airbrush stuff too. But this is, uh, yeah, I'd love to turn this over to someone and have them ink it and have a black and white version and then also maybe they color it too and maybe sell it as clip art. Start a clip art company. Because I could sketch characters all day. I mean, you've seen, you've seen my Instagram, you've seen my stuff here. Unless you're new, which, welcome if you're new. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm going to put in some diamond shapes. But I'm kind of making lines, sort of lines along the body to see where I'm going to put the, uh, the diamonds. There's the first one. And I kind of rotate them back and forth. And you could you can do anything, put any kind of design. Like if you're doing a boa constrictor, it's more of a round kind of shape, I think. And, but this is supposed to be a diamond back rattler. Still got a couple more minutes to go on the sketch. But I, I like how it's coming out. And nothing has to be perfect either, like these shapes. I'm just kind of staggering and putting them wherever I want. Yeah, I thought this would be a cool character to do for the f first lesson here in Nevada. Because it is a kind of a desert character, but also we are getting a manufactured home here at the base of Rattlesnake Hill, so that's appropriate. That's going to be a while, but we're still still in limbo. My son just took my van, dark right now, to the Art Car World Museum in Douglas, Arizona. He left about seven hours ago. He's probably almost to Vegas. Here I'm just kind of shading it in a little. But again, to me the character is the most important, like the, the appeal of the character, how appealing is it? This guy's definitely appealing. He's not totally evil, but he's like kind of sneaky, sneaky snake. <laughs> I think I'm just using a number two Ticonderoga pencil here. Just putting in a few dark lines. And again, you don't have to make it this elaborate. You can just do a simple sketch. But there it is. That's the finished sketch. He looks pretty cool, S shape, pretzel shape, and his expression. It's pretty good. Okay, next we're going to work on the painting of it. 
here I am with my GoPro and I sped it up a little I'm kind of like just just uh, getting ready to go see the GoPro on my head but I've got the camcorder back there and just like the sketch I'm doing sort of a bean shape and the S shape and this I sped up a little this is about I think this is twice as fast And this paint I picked up at uh, at Lowe's, just some interior eggshell. I gave away so much paint before I came here. Oh my gosh, I gave them about half a gallon of that Miller Red. So you can see my little paint things I bought. Just like in my book where I talk about buying the little tiny jars you get like at Home Depot. I got these at Lowe's and they actually had um, the Sherwin-Williams colors, most of them. But I had to mix up a brown for the rattlesnake. I couldn't, I didn't find any mist tints. But I'll start collecting paint when I'm here. I'll build up more and more paint. Now I'm working on his eyes and his face. To me, it's the most important part. I do most of that with a roller, you know, I just turn it on end. Yeah, it was pretty warm today. It was probably about 97. Yesterday it was, for a little while, it got up to 101. But I'm in the shade here. This is in the morning. So it's probably about 85. It's not too bad. I brought that big glass with me from, from Portland. I got it at the ReStore Habitat for Humanity. So I got that done. Now I'm going to go in and... Uh, trim it up a little, fix some things. I'm always changing things up, moving things around, carving things up. Okay, next I'm going to go in and do the, the second coat of white. And I had sprayed a lot on the white to keep it, keep it wet, but some of it was dripping, but not too bad. Again, this is uh, sped up twice as much. I didn't use a lot of the GoPro footage. This is some brown I made. It's basically any two colors that are the opposite, like red and green makes brown, purple and yellow makes brown, orange and blue makes brown. But then usually after I mix those two colors together, I either add some white to lighten it up. I definitely usually add more, um, I add some yellow, and that gives it more of a golden brown feel to it. But this isn't too bad. And if I was doing something really big, I'd probably use a roller to fill in the colors, but I decided to just use the two inch foam because this is pretty small for me. So I'm just blocking in all the colors. I left under it, under its belly white. I'm gonna paint like an ivory color under there. Now I'm going in, kind of, kind of doing another coat of the brown. Takes a couple coats. It's a pretty cool character, though, a rattlesnake. I 
I've done them before, but not not quite like this one. I've done like desert scenes before, where I'd have a rattlesnake and a a cow skull on the side, or maybe a scorpion and some cactus. I remember I did an optometrist once on Woodstock Avenue in Portland. This was, gosh, 20 years ago. But anyway, it was like the scorpion had glasses, the snake had glasses, the cactus had glasses. It's like every character had glasses on. It was cool. This kind of almost looks black, but it's, it's supposed to be like a dark brown. But it's not too bad. Gets the idea crossed. You'll see in a little bit <laughs> in the video where I screw up. I make kind of a big screw up on the the snake's body, so watch for it. <laughs> I really should have posted the sketch I did or some of the sketches, you know, on the side of the window, but I thought I sketched it so much, no big deal. But yeah, I kind of kind of goofed up here, you'll see in a minute. Now I'm doing kind of a golden brown highlight. But I think because I was so into the face, I overlook the body, you know. Sometimes I do that, I don't, I get the perspective wrong or, because I'm so focused. I've always been so much into the character, the faces. I love the faces. And then this is kind of a, a yellowy, ivory color down here for the belly. Pretty soon you'll see where I screwed up. Or, or have you already noticed it? <laughs> Look closely. Okay. I still don't notice notice it myself, and I'm still laying in all these details, which I will be changing shortly, as you will see. <laughs> I was so pissed off <laughs> when I did this because I was thinking, this is my first video. I want it to be so cool. Scott Campbell, his new lessons from the desert. A rattlesnake. And then I messed it up totally. <laughs> it's a little bit darker color version doing the horizontal lines across the belly. I'm so excited. Painting finally after weeks. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there were some little blue shadows on the teeth, the fangs. Now I'm going in and trimming it up. Again, this is two times as fast. Not quite real time, but still not too fast where you can't see what I'm up to. I was trimming that front fang and I kind of over trimmed it. So I had to uh, had to go back in and touch it up. I'm so glad I got this one done finally, the video. I felt guilty. But man, we've been so busy. Just trying to get organized and stuff. So you see here, that part's supposed to match with there, and that part, see, see like there, how it goes up, it goes around, but on mine, it's like it's weird, it just, it doesn't work. So I have to carve it up. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do the face. <laughs> so this black I'm using is straight, golden, fluid acrylic black. It's Pretty spendy. 
think you can get 16 ounces for about $30. But it's, it's really nice paint. It's very opaque and it flows really good. I think if cell vinyl was 10, this would be a 9. And there's other types of blacks too, which I will talk about later. And I think, actually I have videos about it too. But this black is really nice. And the rest of the color, most of you, as most of you know, it's interior eggshell, house paint. So now I'm back doing real time. It's not two times. I love doing the black. As you know, <laughs> if anybody watches my videos, they know I love the black. Because it just makes it come alive, you know? Makes it just like pop. If you're new to the channel and you're new to window painting and you want the basics, you might check out my ebook. I have an introductory ebook. It goes for $15 and talks a little bit about my history, but it also it shows where you can buy stuff and get started like really inexpensively and the materials and the brushes and things like that you should check it out or if you go on patreon if you become a patreon member you get all my ebooks at no charge and i have three the other two books are sketchbooks but that's for a ten ten dollar a month uh patron and then I also send out sketches too, like every three months. Every every quarter I send out sketches, original signed sketches. Like the sketches of this rattlesnake somebody will get. <laughs> but otherwise you want to learn, just just watch the videos. I have I think a thousand. So just go and look for that the magnifying glass search icon thing and search videos and type in paint or type in cleaning or type in whatever character design you know and you should be able to find videos because I have a lot and and this is going to be great this new series this will be the first one and and uh, of many hopefully but I have about 123 tutorials I think but there's a lot of other videos that are about window painting, obviously, because I have a thousand, so that means I have 880 other videos, too, so. But this, these will be all new, new series just about character design. But I'm also going to do some stuff on lettering, too, like whole alphabets, because people are asking, you know, my, my alphabets and stuff. They're curious about them. And I have about maybe six to eight alphabets that... that I created that you know for myself here I'm using a really small kind of like script liner brush almost and just really lightly putting in some suggestion of scales some details and I do it around the mouth too and the fangs here in the video you probably don't even can barely see it but it's just it's just a suggestion you don't have to you don't have to draw them out completely. Here I am just falling around the mouth. Looks like a zombie snake. He has no pupils. <laughs> Here comes the sun too. It's blaring down. You gotta kinda hurry because it's gonna come over the house in a bit. I hope the lighting's okay in the video. I think you can see the character. So here I'm going in. I sped it up. I don't know how fast, but I'm kind of putting in the... This might even be... This is faster than two times, I think. So I'm putting in some shapes with a dark brown. And I still haven't noticed where I messed up. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> but yeah, I really should have put up my uh, put up sketches. Just taped them to the window. A lot. Of, I mean, you've seen me before. If you're familiar with the channel, you've seen me where I put up sketches of stuff. And even though I've done snakes, I don't have a. I didn't have a lot of experience doing this particular pose, so it would have been smart to put them put it up. So it's starting to look like a rattlesnake. Use that sprayer because it's hot. And I have all my brushes in the bucket. Just like in Portland. I think this brush is a... I don't know if that's a Mac 162 or an old Utrecht brush. I like laying in those lines. It's fun. Yeah, I like my cartoons to kind of look like old Warner Brother cartoons or Disney cartoons. Like you could almost see Donald Duck running away from a rattlesnake like this. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll see where I screwed up. His face came out really cool though. Oh, you see it? <laughs> I screwed up. I think this is where I finally noticed it. I was like, that's like an MC Escher painting. See? <laughs> that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Because his body should be in front of that. Oh man, this sucks. So I'm like freaking out, but in the meantime, I'm like, oh, whatever. So here I am just kind of, I try to match that color. That's why you should always keep your colors, because sometimes it's hard to match colors. But you know, I'm just getting started here, and I gotta get some stuff from the dollar store, little plastic containers where I can keep my different colors in like I had in Portland remember all the colors I had and stuff so I'm trying to touch this up but something still still not right about this which I, I'll show you in a second well I did show you earlier with the arrows how they did it didn't match up maybe I kind of edited this out of out of order I don't know <laughs> it's my first one. Give me a break. <laughs> my van should be in Vegas by now. Yep, going to the art car world. Did I say that already? That's a sign of old age when you start repeating yourself. <laughs> my kids always let me know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of confused here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like trying to figure out how I'm going to fix this. See, because I'm, it doesn't make sense at the bottom. It's not supposed to be all round like that. It's supposed to come back up for the tail to go back up through the center part. See, and go back up. See? Oh, so I'm going to try and salvage it. I'm going to chop it up. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Come on, chop it up. 
I think I'm just looking at it going, what am I going to do? Okay, now I've decided I'm going to cut all this off. I should have had the GoPro down lower so you could kind of see, see what I'm doing. But do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to see that, that round shape on the right side. It goes around like this. I want that to go up and, you know, up over the tail. Camera's backwards, so it goes like this, this, and then up. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> I'm trying to show it in the camera and it's, it's not working. It's like what I'm showing you, it's like the opposite of where I want my finger to go. But you can see, so you can see where I'm repainting that. Now you can kind of get the idea, but this, this ended up coming out a little bit wonky because I had to trim it, but it still communicates. Because again, the, all the flavor is in the face. The face is everything. You know, the snake's like... I am my characters after all. I love character design. And this is fun for me. Since I stopped doing commercial work, I could just focus in on characters, but I really like how this, I like how it came out. I just don't like that little wonky area down there. It's funky, but it still looks good. I like it. Hey man, thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming around and checking out my first lesson, my rattlesnake. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.